A lot of guys have muscles. There are many strong men in this world. I think it's important to show that even with all this power, there is a fragile side, a side that can be influenced. And if I look at my freezer, there's no way I'm sitting there looking like Gandhi. I mean, I don't have any crickets and some green rice there. No, I mean, it's a pretty liberal freezer. It's all there. Art is the ability to communicate through an intermediary and convey one's feelings through an isolated object. This is inspiration and incubation. Translating my subjective feelings into an objective form, and then to you for a subjective interpretation. Artists die twice, creatively at first, then physically, the second one is the easiest. After all, the man Rambo is supposed to kill. He doesn't kill. He lets him live. Because you can't kill this kind of hypocritical bureaucracy. It goes on forever. There I could fly a warship. I could drive a tank. I was in charge of million-dollar equipment. And here I can't even get a job parking lot. Boxing is a great exercise dot 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 as long as you can shout cut whenever you want. Boxing is a great way to let loose. I do not know if there is a better way. I think it is for women as well. There's something so important about it, and it's the best exercise in the world, even if you don't do it. Get into the ring someday. Boxing is a kind of inevitability. We know that they will beat each other. Boxing is the only sport where the audience comes up to you and says, you stink, and this needs to be dealt with. It's like being in front of lions. The characters I played, they used about 80% of the time in my paintings, especially when I was shooting an action movie. Clothes are the first step to creating a character. Crunches are much more effective than regular squats because they specifically target the muscles of the upper abdomen, not the muscles of the thigh. If you're not used to them, they can cause soreness after a day or two. But it's a cool disease, a badge of honor. Don't be gullible. Use life before it uses you. Understand that there are no free lunches, and there is a reaction to every action you take. Don't talk about your dreams. Chase them. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. Over time, it became more interesting for me to write than to play. Everyone has anger or regret one way or another. They all try to deduce it in different ways. Some people turn to psychiatrists. Some people paint pictures. Some people talk about it. Each generation must find its heroes. I get out of bed every morning. I'm sitting there thinking, do I really need this? And I'm trudging to the gym in my garage. It's not fun. I hate it. I train alone. Everyone has this assumption that action films are somewhat less prestigious than dramatic films. Nothing could be further from the truth. I've done both of them, and it's difficult and dangerous. Every rep I've done on chins, on 500-pound squats, I've never told myself, oh my god, another representative. I said, yes, another representative, because this will turn my dream into reality. Every guy has the opportunity to be much better than he thought. We may not be the star of the team, but we can be the star in our lives. That's where you set your goal. For Rocky II, I had a torn pectoral muscle. I smashed everything inside. I had to have surgery to put everything back together. I've been abusing my body all my career, so I've literally been glued together. What I took thickens the bones and strengthens the tendons. I am a sensitive writer, actor, and director. Talking about business is disgusting. If you want to talk business, call my disgusting personal manager. I'm not the richest, smartest, or most talented person in the world, but I succeed because I keep going, going, and going. I believe that any success in life is achieved through blind fierce optimism. I believe that an artist dies twice. The first time, it was just terrible. I was there when the phone hadn't rung in years. I could start a war in 30 seconds. But some countries spend 100 years searching for peace. Just like good manners, you need to learn the world. I would live in a museum if I could. I spent hours at the Museum of Modern Art. I feel that America is like a child who grew up so strong, fast, and so tall that he became self-conscious of his size and began to bend down so as not to offend anyone. If I had done it right away as an actor, I would have stopped at a certain level and stayed there, probably as a character actor. 
If I just know that the movie is going to work, I will fight to the death for it, and I convince myself. When a movie is purely a money job, the movie doesn't have the same kind of intensity, and the audience almost feels it, at least the way I perceive it. So, yes, the idea is to do what you really, if it's not broken, break it. This is how new discoveries are made. That's why everything that changes your life is called a breakthrough. If you express yourself too much, you are considered weak. If you look at the people who survived in the mountains and lived in the snow for 40 days, you can perform extraordinary feats. If you look back on life, I bet you'll regret 80% of your actions. But life consists of all mistakes. If you practice your hobby instead of the enemy, he will become your friend. This is the only thing that will never let you down. He will always be there for you and will always make you better than you were before. Remember, every time you go to the gym, every time you put the right supplement in your mouth, you feel better than you did 10 minutes ago. The irony is that most people know what to do. They just don't do what they know. If you're willing to put up with bowing your head over the crowd, maybe the pleasure will be worth the pain. If you think that people are inherently good, you get rid of the police for 24 hours. See what happens. I lack fear. Whereas in the past, the fear of failure was a powerful motivator. Anyway, I have high hopes for the future, but I just don't know if I'm the monarch of all the people I'm interviewing. I have high hopes for the future because the past has been greatly overestimated. I have a lot of regrets, but I think that's one of the reasons people create things. Because of their fear and regret, artists, painters, and writers are the best at showing themselves.